Goldman Sachs is initiating coverage on the shares of the TV giant CBS. They're holding it at neutral amidst a new chapter in the Les Moonves sexual misconduct scandal. The stock is fighting back this hour after spending much of the morning in negative territory. We're up barely just by half a percent or so. And this goes to the blistering New York Times report accusing the former CBS chief of bribery and a variety of other nefarious actions, activities, and a bid to cover up the accusations of sexual assaults against him. That New York Times report adding more fuel to the fire for critics who want to see Mr. Moonves and his potential $120 million parachute, golden parachute, grounded. Let's bring in Charlie Gasparino, who's been digging into this controversial pay package fight right. since day one. I don't, I don't know why the stock would be down. because right. the Well, what about the fact that the New York Times report was so disturbing? Well, yes, and, I, and I, that's why I don't think the stock should be down. I mean, this, in all, what I'm hearing from people inside the company is like, in all likelihood, he's not going to get the entire package. He's, he could get nothing or, 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 or part of it. But, you know, the, remember what happened here. If you read that story, All of it. Um, the, without getting too much into the, the weeds, the, the, one of the main contentions is that he gave somebody a job, lied about that, that job, lied about giving that person a job to cover up a past alleged sexual relationship. In his words, hers was, you know, borderline sexual, borderline rape, I mean, mm -hmm. if, you, if you believe her side. Uh, but the fact is, he, contemporaneous to his current contract, he hid that from the board. That could be action for them not to grant them because it's contemporaneous. It's not, you know, from 10 contracts ago. It wasn't from another. It's based on what was currently right now, and that's what I'm hearing from people inside CBS. A couple other things I want to hit on because we've been trying to work on this. CBS is doing a broader probe about Mr. Moonves's alleged activities, uh, Charlie Rose's alleged activities, Jeff Fager's, uh, more of a cultural look. Uh, the last number of people interviewed was something like 250. Mm -hmm. I understand it's going to surpass 300 pretty easily, and that's how many people they're speaking with. Uh, it's winding down now, I understand. It must be completed by J uh, J January 31st. And here's the interesting thing that I picked up. If you read the separation agreement initially, there was some talk about keeping it private. Uh, but then there was a clause that people have, inside CBS, people are pointing me to, where it says that the board will keep it private unless a public airing of the findings is in the best interest of CBS and the shareholders. And I think that's the out they're going to use to make it public. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'm hearing from inside is that the betting inside CBS is that they are likely to make it public. Can't guarantee it, right. but that clause puts a lot of pressure on them to make it public because it's hard to argue that it's not in the best interest of the company to get a full airing and for shareholders to right. hear all this stuff. Again, uh, the $120 million pay package is a separation agreement is in jeopardy. A lot of people think this contemporaneous problem is what's going to kill it for him. And one other thing, reason why the stock probably should be, be up, I mean, there's going to be a deal. I Viacom. Mean, they're either going to merge with Viacom or they're going to sell. I mean, listen, I know that Joe Ionello uh, and Moonves, he's out, but Joe Ionello's running it now. <coughs> Very competent guy, yes. numbers guy. COO, former COO. Smart dude. Uh, not not a whisper of him on this, but, you know, he was close to less, so that might hurt him in getting the job. But Joe's a really great numbers guy, and he knows what they have to do. And I think if you look at some of the moves he's making, he's hiring a guy for to, to, to do, deal with talent because that's not his forte. He's the numbers guy. I think he hired a guy named David Nevins, mm -hmm. brought him up from Showtime. Uh, he also knows that they got to sell it. And I think what you'll see him do is shop, shop it as soon as this is done. Right. For all I know, he's shopping it now. This is the, what I'm hearing from inside there. And on top of that, if he can't find a buyer, it'll be merged with Viacom. Right. Probably. I was going to ask you, because Sherry Redstone was brought up in this New York Times article as well. And I don't know if you would agree, but would you say that the article hinted that maybe... You know, maybe this merger, this re-merger, may have instigated some of the investigations. I don't know. I mean, you know, there's there was all these confluences occurring. There was Ronan Farrow doing a lot right. of. I mean, I remember it said in the article that um, that uh, there was a rumor in, in when Roman Ronan Farrow started doing his initial stuff. There was a rumor that Les's turn would come, and I remember hearing that rumor. We were all talking about it. Like yeah. we keep hearing, it was it was him. It's not stuff stuff that I cover, but I can tell you that. There was a confluence of factors, including Me Too, Harvey, which was kicked off by Harvey Weinstein, Ronan Farrow looking at it. And at the same time, oddly, you know, Les Moonves picks a fight with Sherry Redstone. Right. <coughs> he basically presses the button and sues 
Sherry in Redstone May. in May, amid all this swirl of controversy, where he wants to separate CBS from the ruling Viacom, from the from the ruling uh, Redstone family, right. National Amusement, because he wanted to pre prevent Sherry from pushing him to merge with Viacom, which he believes is an inferior property. He went to court. That was just wild that he did that. And now you wonder why you would do that if you know this other stuff is is percolating. Unless he didn't think the other stuff would, he'd ever get caught, it wasn't that big a deal. I mean, it, it really is a book to try to figure out what his thinking was. Yeah, I agree. Because it, and then it all came apart for him in four months, less than four yes. months. So I guess yep. the takeaway here: it's winding down. Yep. We're probably going to see it public. The people inside doubt he's getting the money. I'm just telling you. I'm not saying he isn't. He doesn't need it. He's a guy, well, I think he's made $500 he, million oh, since he's he wants, took over at he CBS. He wants that money. <laughs> it's bragging rights at the they end, all, isn't it? They all want their money. Okay. Charlie, always a pleasure.